governor's orders uh, are lifted to phase three uh, Friday at five o'clock, and that is when our gates open. So we are going to be the first thing open and we're going to be ready to go. The last time Wake Forest fans were able to watch their Deacons at home was prior to Thanksgiving 2019. That changes Friday night. We're really excited to uh, have people in the stands and not have fake crowd noise, have real crowd noise. Around the time students were sent home because of COVID. Our staff has been planning for six months for this scenario. Wake Forest University Athletics started looking at how they could get fans and alumni back in the stands and do so safely. There's no nook and there's no cranny that hasn't gone unnoticed. Weeks before players could resume practice, the university went through a walkthrough of its own with a mock game in July. Obviously, no teams were here, but what we did is we had the Forsyth County Health Department come and inspect our operation. And we set up metal detectors and we had signage out and we had our hand sanitizing stations. Giving them a taste of what it takes and some takeaways, which were applied, when the Deeks returned to the field against Clemson last month. Minute and a half to go till the half. With only 50 people in the stands, there were no concessions, but there were tarps on each side of the grandstand. Those tarps are still going to be there, which will help us provide some of that physical distancing um, and, and create a barrier between the team and the fans. This time, there will be student athlete families, families of staff members. Campbell University got 100 tickets. 750 Wake students will be able to go. We're going to need them to be super loud, but obviously, uh, Everything goes into uh, making sure it's safe and healthy for all involved. Everyone else has to register, come to check in, and get screened. It just comes down to planning and making sure that everything is, is set to have a safe and healthy environment. Approved face coverings can be removed for eating and drinking while seated, among several other precautions. You're going to see, you know, dots on the ground that are going to account for you need to walk this way. And when you go to the bathroom, one door's an entrance and one door's an exit. In true Wake Forest fashion, they've done and are doing their research by asking their peers. Whether it's in the state of North Carolina, but also, you know, other places that have had 17,000 fans or 19,000 fans or whatever their um, uh, state's leadership is allowing them to do. Idea sharing and tapping networks, hoping to learn and teach.